This video was made to explain the existence of highly organized system, from Allah, Azza wa Jalla about the events on earth. Some of them make it possible to know various end time events that Allah has announced through his messenger, such as the arrival of Imam Mahdi, the appearance of the Dajjal, the descent of Isa al Masi son of Mary, and various other end time events. Of course all that can only be known if we try to align ourselves with God's will and try to explore his knowledge, according to the instructions and the right approach. Allah has said in the Quran, Surah Al-Jinn verse 28, وَأَحَاطَ بِمَا لَدَيْهِمْ وَأَحْصَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ عَدَدًا Which means, and he has encompassed whatever is with them, and has enumerated all things in number. The calculation is very organized and consistent, such as sun and moon journey, so that humans can observe these signs, study them, and finally can arrange various calendars based on this orderly system. Similarly, various events, or events that unfold on this earth, all of them also run in an orderly manner, and have consistent and interrelated sign after sign. Some can be observed and proven by humans. Others need faith in the instructions that Allah gave to His Messenger, because human observation is limited, and it is impossible to know something that they cannot see. The main guidelines that must be considered in knowing the time of an event, are the word of Allah in Surah Al-Kaf verse 25. وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَازْدَادُوا تِسْعَانَ Which means, and they remained in their cave for three hundred years, adding nine. This verse has been interpreted by Ibn Kathir, as the use of the solar calculation and the lunar calculation, or the calculation of the Shamsiyah and the Halalia, along with instructions about the difference, or the amount of time that should be added so that the two calculations can be synchronized. Namely, if 300 years of Shamsiyah are 309 years of Kamariya, then 100 years of Shamsiyah are 103 years of Kamariya, 33 years of Shamsiyah is 34 years of Kamariya and so on. In the case of numbers related to the arrival of Al-Mahdi, there are even narrations that confirm that it was done by Ajam calculation and not Arab calculation. Ibn Lahia said, it was done by the reckoning of the Ajam people, non-Arab, and not by the reckoning of the Arabs. This means that the solar calculation which is usually used by the Ajam people, non-Arabs, is what is used or takes precedence in the case of calculating the event. These guidelines must be considered in calculating the various standards, which were passed down by the Prophet Muhammad, for determining the time of an event. One of the well-known and generally accepted standards is the 100-year cycle and the use of the word ro su, which means head, to describe an event. The first example and which is often used as a reference is the hadith about mujadid or reformer. عن أبي هريرة عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله يبعث لهذه الأمة على رأس كل مائة سنة من يجدد لها دينا. Which means, verily Allah will bring to this Ummah in every head, or the beginning of 100 years, people who will renew for them their religion, narrated by Abu Dawud number 4291. Ro Su, which means head, means beginning. That is, one or more reformers or mujadid will appear at the beginning of the century. Including Imam Mahdi, who of course will come at the beginning of a century, or at the beginning of a hundreds of years because of his role as mujadid. The proof, which is also the second example of several narration about cycles of 100, is the text of a hadith which states that the appearance of the Mahdi named Ahmad bin Abdullah will occur on Ro Su 25 and 200. <laughs> When you have reached the Ro Su or heads of 25 and 200, call out a caller from heaven. No, O oh man, verily Allah has cut off the days of the dictators and the hypocrites and their followers. And replace you with Al-Jabr who will force the hearts of Muhammad's people. Meet him in Mecca, because he is Al-Mahdi, and his name is Ahmad bin Abdullah. The number 25 in that narration, is also an indication of mathematical calculations. That the number 25 is still counted as a head, and that head certainly has a limit that makes it no longer called a head. This is the parable of the three parts of the body. Namely head, body and legs. Or head, body and tail. Or it can also be called the beginning, middle and end. 
This means that 100 years is divided into three parts, which mathematically each part is about 33.33333333333333 years. The number of about 33 years is also supported by the hadith about Raha Islam. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن رحى الإسلام ستدور بعد خمس وثلاثين أو ست وثلاثين أو سبع وثلاثين سنة فإن يهلكوا فسبيل من هلك وإن بقي لهم دينهم يقم سبعين قال عمر رضي الله عنه يا نبي الله بما مضى أو بما بقي قال لا بل بما بقي The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Raha Islam the molar Islam or the grinding wheel of Islam or the turmoil of Islam. It will spin after 35, or 36 or 37 years. If it will be destroyed then there will be a way for its destruction. And if their religion is set for them, it will be established for as long as 70. Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, asked, O Prophet of Allah, including before or including what remains? Answered, No, but with what remains? The mention of the word bada, or after, in this hadith about Raha Islam, indicates that Raha is the middle phase after the first phase or Rosu. In the first phase or the Rosu phase, which lasts 33.33333333333333 Shamsiya years, or 34.35629505991315 Kamariya years, to be precise for 12,174.73996 days, what applies is the period of Islamic reform or the Tajdid period. That's where the Mujadid or reformer, like Imam Mahdi, will emerge. The Raha phase, which means critical turmoil, such as a grinding wheel that can crush something, occurred starting from the year 34, 35, 36 in Shamsiya's calculations, or 35, 36, 37 in the Kamariya calculation. This hadith with its various variants, has even taken into account the difference between the calculations of Shamsiya and Kamariya which is an addition of about one Kamariya year every 33.33333333333333 Shamsiya year. This is why the Prophet called the beginning of the Raha period at 35, because it was conveyed to the Arabs who used the Kamariya calculation. Not 34. Because in Kamariya's calculation the number 34 is still in the Tajdid period. The period of the Raha itself, ends around 66 to 70 years of the calculation of Shamsiya and Kamariya. Replaced by the end of the century phase, which ended up to 100 years Shamsiya or 103 years Kamariya. The meaning of the Hadith shows that if it is destined to be victorious, then after that critical period, Islam will continue to be victorious from the Raha period for the next 70 years. This means that the situation in the final phase of the century experienced by the Muslims, whether it will still be victorious or destroyed, arguably depends on what happens in the Raha period. If destroyed it will run normally. But if it is destined to survive and succeed, that heyday will last longer until it reaches the beginning of the next century. Example 35 plus 70 equals 105. The truth of this pattern occurs every century, from the time before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, followed by next generations of Muslims after his death, including at the time of the arrival of Imam Mahdi. The critical period experienced by the first generation of Islam really began to occur in the 34th prophetic year which was calculated from the beginning of the Prophet Muhammad's revelation, precisely on November 3, 644 CE or 26 Julhijjah 23 Hijri, with the killing of Caliph Omar bin Khodab, may Allah be pleased with him. Followed by the killing of Caliph Uthman, May Allah be pleased with him, which caused disputes and wars among the Muslims, until the war ended in 661 CE. Furthermore, the rise of the Abbasid power in the next century also occurred in the Raha period, which started from the 137th prophetic year, to be exact on June 9, 747 CE or 15 Ramadan 129 Hijri. Other famous events such as the Mongol invasion in 1258 CE, the conquest of Constantinople in 1453 CE, to World War II in 1939 to 1945 which was followed by the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 all took place in the Raha or mid-century period. The signs are easily recognizable, that is, between the 44th and 80th years of a century AD or common era. Because it is nothing, but an additional 10, from the 34th to 70th years, in each century based on the calendar of the prophetic year of the Prophet Muhammad's first revelation, 
which starts from the year 610 in the Shamshia Reckoning. If everything is proven at the time that we have passed, then God willing, it will also be proven in the time of Imam Mahdi, who appeared at the beginning of the century. The precarious situation that will be experienced in this time of Roha in the time of the Mahdi, is Malama or end time warfare. This includes the appearance of Dajjal, or the Antichrist, and Yajuj Majuj, or Gog and Magog. This is mentioned in an Atsar derived from Abdullah ibn Amr, whose text is evidence and guidance, that all affairs or events or things that occur on each head of a hundred, is things that have been happening since this world existed. عن عبد الله بن عمرو بن العاص قال ما كان منذ كانت الدنيا رأس مئة سنة إلا كان عند رأس المئة أمر فإذا كان رأس مئة خرج الدجال وينزل عيسى فيقتله From Abdullah ibn Amr bin Ash May Allah be pleased with him He said It has not been since the world has reached the head of 100 years Except in the head of 100 it will happen Amran, affairs, or events so when it reaches the head of 100, the Dajjal will come out and Jesus, or Isa Alaihisalam will kill him. Data-wise, we will find it difficult to determine when the so-called beginning of the world. However, this Atsar proclaims a consistent decree from Allah, regarding the existence of events or things at the head of each century, or the beginning of 100 years, which began to apply since the world existed, through the time of the Prophets, through the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through the next generation, to the present generation of mankind. In other words, the Atsar provides clues about the cycle repeating every 100 years. This means, that what starts from the beginning of the world, it is the same cycle calculation as what started this affair called Islam began to be called. Of course the beginning of Islam, with the Sharia of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam began to be mentioned, is the time of the first revelation to the Prophet Muhammad. Therefore, everything that has happened, and will happen, will not be random, but run according to predetermined provisions, so those who believe in his messenger, should understand better if they study the legacy of the Prophet about this. For example, Al-Mahdi named Ahmad bin Abdullah, who is mentioned in a hadith, will be by it on the head or the 25th R.O. Su in 200. By ignoring the number 200 first, to make it easier to discuss, there are actually only three or four choices, which is a form of calculation from the beginning of the nearest century. That is, the calculation from the beginning of the Hijri century in 1425 Hijri, or February 22, 2004 to February 9, 2005, which is no longer possible to consider, because it has passed and nothing happened. Then the calculation from the beginning of the closest common era century, which results in the year 2025 or 2026, which is obtained from 2000 plus 25, or 2001 plus 25. This hasn't happened yet, so that it can be the closest alternative for the appearance of Emma Mahdi. While the most consistent option, is if it is calculated from the beginning of the prophetic year of the Prophet Muhammad, which will result in the initiation of Al-Mahdi, Ahmad bin Abdullah, between 2035 to 2036 CE, obtained from 610 plus 1400 plus 25. The number 1400 is the beginning of the century for the prophetic calendar year based on the Shamshia calculations, whose 15th century fell between 2010 and 2011. This option can be called consistent, because at least the appearance of Dajjal mentioned in the Atsar Abdullah bin Amr, will occur after the completion of the head of a hundred, or when an early century is complete. So the event of the appearance of Al-Masi Dajjal, or Antichrist, should happen at least at the beginning of the Raha period. That is at 34 or 35, which starts from 2044, 2045 to 2080 CE, which is the range of years from 34 or 35, to 70, in Raha phase. The years 2044 or 2045 obtained from the consistency of this calculation, it is clearly a period of repetition from previous centuries, such as in 1939 to 1945 when World War II occurred. If Imam Mahdi, Ahmad ibn Abdullah appeared in 2036, then the later days would be very logical to bring up events such as Hudna, or peace treaty with Rum, and their betrayal, followed by Malama Kubra, or the greatest end of time war, leading up to the emergence of the Dajjal. Here the use of the number 200 in the Hadith of Al-Mahdi begins to be understood. That is so that we know, in which 25th R.O. Su, Al-Mahdi will be sworn in. By playing logic, we also know that because Imam Mahdi has not yet been sworn in, at the time this video was made, we have not yet reached the 25th R.O. Su, nor are we at the promised 200. For brief information before a more detailed explanation later, 
The number 200 which is mentioned as the time of the appearance of Al-Mahdi, is actually the 207 plus year cycle, or 1 14th of 100 years. The existence of the division of 14 which produces cycles of 7, was originally taken from the idea of dividing 50,000 by 7,000, which is the length of the day, in the sight of Allah, by the number of the age of the world. 50,000 divided by 7,000 equals 7.142857142857. 7 However, it turns out that the results are still consistent, if calculated to the smallest part. For example, up to 100 divided by 14, and of course 50 divided by 7, 25 divided by 3.5, etc. Also some of the reported events, at least the fall of the Abbasids, turned out to coincide with the numbers from cycle 7, while other cycles, such as cycle 6 down, or cycle 8 up, never matched reality. From this it is known that the length of one cycle which used in various narrations, including to refer to the appearance of the Mahdi, is indeed 7.142857142857143. Or 36,524.219878 days divided by 14 equals 2,608.8728484285871 days. From this calculation basis, we know that the number 200, which means the 200 cycle of 7 plus, will occur around 2032 to 2039 CE. For the record, in 2021, we are still in the 11th RO SU and the 198th cycle of 7 plus. This is a brief overview of the 7 plus cycles. A more detailed explanation of cycle 7 plus, along with examples of cases and calculations that occurred, can be done on another occasion. The conclusion of the calculation from this video is, that Al-Mahdi, Ahmad bin Abdullah will appear in Mecca in the year 2035-2036. Meanwhile, Al-Masi Dajjal or Antichrist, will only appear after 2044 until 2080. Allah knows best.